Hello! Welcome back to Ms. Casella's Classroom on YouTube. I just finished uploading an episode on dreams and tapping into our subconscious. I wanted to expand on that a little bit because the purpose is to unlock that door inside your brain, push those elements of independent critical thinking, thinking outside the box, considering different perspectives. And I love metacognitive philosophical conversations because it doesn't matter if you believe it or not, or what your personal faith is. It just matters that you can be mature and have an open conversation about something interesting. So I hope you're not offended and intrigued and encouraged to think. I wanted to talk about shows like River Monsters with Jeremy Wade. That's one of my favorite shows. If Jeremy Wade wasn't pulling out those gigantic catfish, we might not believe that they exist. Um, there's also a show called Monster Quest and I thought it was really interesting because there's a number of episodes on Bigfoot. There's different names for Bigfoot, Sasquatch, um, I forget the other ones offhand, but anyways, lots of different names and lots of variations. And I'm living in Abbotsford and there was one episode which focused on the Chilliwack area. And as you may know, Chilliwack is about half an hour away from where I live. And so every time I go to the beach, I'm always taking pictures and stuff. And I'm always thinking, okay, is Bigfoot over there somewhere hiding in the bushes? And again, whether I believe it or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is I'm being a good listener to something that somebody does believe and I'm considering my roots as a homo sapien, as a human and how I evolved. And so even things like dinosaurs, I have to honestly share with you if there were no such findings, scientific evidence like fossils, I would never ever in a million years believe dinosaurs once roamed the earth. And that makes me consider things like the realities of human beings, homo sapiens, a long time ago when we didn't understand science. So if you saw something in the distance, like uh, like a giant squid, you might think that's a monster and then it gets translated through myths and legends. But really we know that there are no such thing as monsters. It's just a gigantic squid in the ocean. <laughs> well, a long time ago, we didn't understand things like thunder. We know today thunder is just the hot and the cold mixing together, getting sandwiched. And when it gets sandwiched, it makes that that thunder sound. Whereas a long time ago, somebody might have had a different interpretation. I also wanted to push your critical thinking into a zone where you might consider other creatures like mermaids or goblins, fairies. What's your perspective? What stories have you heard? And I'm not asking you if you believe in them or not. I'm asking you what's your perspective and how do you think these stories came about? Because they didn't just come from anywhere. As a primary school teacher, I love creativity. I love imagination. I love mystery. And these philosophical metacognitive conversations are definitely of interest to me. What does that mean, metacognitive philosophical? It means, well, metacognitive means you're thinking. So personally, I love thinking about thinking. I love ideas about ideas. And so 
the philosophical piece means our ways of knowing and our history and why we have the ideas we have, why our thinking is the way it is. And historically, it's very interesting because whether it was intentional or not, our thinking was inhibited because ideas were considered dangerous. Ideas, for example, about how the planets rotate around the sun. We know that. That's common knowledge. But once upon a time, that was considered dangerous knowledge to share because people believed planet Earth was at the center of everything. And if you spoke about some other kind of system or was telling a different story, that was con considered blasphemous. And you can go to jail or even be executed for sharing your ideas. And so I really value being a Canadian because we can have these metacognitive philosophical conversations. We can speak freely about things. And if we choose to believe in something or not, we're allowed to, as long as we're not hurting ourselves or others. And so on that note, I'd be very interested about any myths or legends that you've grown up with or that you've heard and what is your thoughts on Bigfoot in this Chilliwack area?